It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion, let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Doesn't time fly when you're enjoying yourselves? No leaving without learning. Oh, no. Get that sad man out of my program. I quite like it. Silence! Don't watch this terrible program. Don't! My knit problem's not getting any better. First, I had the blue knits. Then a hen. And I don't know what to call this. A red dog? A red hound! Or maybe a houndred! Houndreds, hens, and blue nits. Who'd have thought maths could be so, so disgusting? We don't want to know about his hair problems. I do. Silence! I think he's quite cute. No, you'll never get out of maths mansion with an attitude like that. Who are you anyway? I'm Ryland Thompson from Epsom. I'm Emma Charles from East London. Let's see what you are wise or ignorant about. It's time for times. Yes, multiplication. <laughs> Have a look at this. What is 115 times 5? Well, that's 5 Wait. times... Wait. Estimate first. Work out what your answer is roughly going to be. Looking at the hundreds, at least 500. Call it 600. OK. Go, go, go and multiply. We're multiplying by five. Split the number up first. That's 100, 110 and five units. Multiply the hundreds box. That's 500. Multiply the tens box. One times five. Five tens. That's 50. Multiply the units box. 5 times 5 is 25. Then add them all up. 500 add 50 and 25 is 575. It's right and close to your estimate. Oh, Yo, yes! Oh, no! <laughs> I estimate there's going to be lots of things in my hair. When it comes to multiplying, there's no reason to feel sad. You'll find it satisfying, there's such fun to be had. This method is the one to try, you always will be glad. If you estimate, you multiply, and then you add. Five hundreds, five hens, and twenty-five blue nits makes five hundreds, seven hens, and five blue nits. Multiply the hundreds and write the number down. Then multiply the tens and write the number down. Multiply the units and write the number down. You've done hundreds, tens and units. The answer's coming soon. It's the total of the numbers that you wrote down. Excuse me, you got the times. Pardon? Have you got the times? No, mate. You haven't got the times? No. Well, dear, oh dear, how do you expect to run a business? I'll tell you what, how about an estimate? That'll do. What is 523 times 7? Uh, I don't know. Just roughly. Two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. Sounds about right to me. Excuse me, can I have an estimate, please? Estimate on what size of tyre, sir? No. I want you to multiply 523 by 7. Today, preferably. I could do that for you within a half an hour. I could prepare that for you. Half an hour? Oh, no, that's far too long. I tell you what, work it out roughly by multiplying the hundreds. That's 5 by 7. 35. Yes, with two zeros, that's... 3,500. 
which is 3,500. Not a bad estimate. That's really good. Thank you. Well, what's your estimate going to be? And you, what's your estimate going to be? But first, let's see if you can handle a new way of working. Here's the calculation you did working across the page. But let's see if you can work it down the page. Right, put the estimate at the top. Then 115, put the times five underneath. That's 100 times five is 500. And 10 times five is 50. And five times five is 25. And they add up to 575. Multiplying, there's no reason to feel sad. You'll find it satisfying. There's such fun to be had. This method is the one to try. You always will be glad if you estimate, you multiply, and then you add. Multiply the hundreds and write the number down. Then multiply the tens and write the is coming soon. It's the total of the numbers that you wrote down. Right, you've had plenty of chances to work out what you're doing. Let's see you multiplying down the page. 523 times 7. Clock's ticking. Go. Estimated answer. 500 is about half a thousand. 7 times half a thousand is three and a half thousand. Add a bit. Call it 4,000. Hundreds first. That's 500 multiplied by 7. 35 hundreds. Tens. That's 2 times 7. 14. 140. And units. Three sevens are... Come on. 21. You've got to add up now. Add the units. That's 1. Add the tens, four and two is six. Add the hundreds, five and one is six. Hurry up. Oh, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. You were nearly there, but you didn't give me that answer. 3,661. It's too late now. 3,661 is the right answer, and your estimate was good. So do we get a maths card? No. Tragically, you do not get sad man's friends. But if you would like one of these cards, then see if you can answer these questions. 444 times 4, 666 times 6, and 888 times 8. Estimate, multiply, and add. I'll see you next time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion, let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it, there's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> yes, yes, hundreds on top. Then hens, then blue nits. Very clever, I'm sure. <laughs>